Tips and Tricks 8. Now I know you like these tips and tricks. Uh, this one, the object of them is to show you, give you a tool if you like, a tool that you can use in all types of photography. Now that's why I haven't actually lit the subjects as they should be lit, they're very quickly done, because I'm only just showing you a technique. And this technique you can use on anything you're photographing, not necessarily what I'm going to put in front of you. So let's get on and I'll show you uh, what I mean. Now here's a very badly lit uh, bottle. Now you see reflections everywhere, etc. But there might be a reason that you have to light something like that uh, because you've got something else in the subject that requires that light. Now I just want to show you something. How about that? You see how you can change the light totally by spraying on a subject on a part that you don't like. Now, there are lots of things you can buy. One's called Dulling Spray. Um, now, Dulling Spray is available in black, white. But supposing you haven't got any in the studio or you don't want to spend a fortune buying it because it's not cheap. Well, this is just a deodorant. Now, they sell deodorants in all types of things, all types of prices. This is a very cheap one because the more expensive ones don't do that. They're transparent. So this is a very cheap deodorant. Cost, that cost about a pound. That's interesting, isn't it? This edge, this is a really nice. I mean, I fight to get a reflection like that. But um, let's see what it does on that. Well, that's interesting too. Um, we've got this white reflection down here. Now, how's that done? Because before, uh, you couldn't see it at all. That side of the bottle, it was lost. Well, it's very simple. We've just put a bit of white tape down it. So, as you turn it, you can make it thinner or wider. And you can play with it. Because it's tape, it's easy to take off and change its position. Now, I use a tape that is an electrician's tape that's plastic so it makes it easier to put it in certain positions but that we use a lot in uh, still life photography now this is another interesting thing again the, they're very badly lit but <clears throat> this glass has got a white edge to it a nice white reflector and this edge hasn't now the bottom of it you can see a nice white edge, and this one you can't. Now that's because it's against black. Now how do we do that? Very simply, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but the white rim, the rim, is actually painted with white paint. And underneath the same thing, uh, there's white paint on the base. So that's another thing that uh, is very, very useful, uh, is white poster paint. So you see, um, you can put white lines uh, down virtually anything just to see, just to, you know, do all sorts of things. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.